previously on ER. Aren't we supposed to be getting some new students today? Peter Benton. You the surgical student? Yep, third year. Good. You know how to do that, don't you? Ow! <laughs> Come on, that wasn't that bad. Between your hours and my studying, I feel like we never get to see each other anymore. You two settle your problem? Yeah, yeah. Everything's okay. Dr. Fine. Green, your wife on 2204. Yeah, I have to call her back. How dare you speak How to dare me this you way? treat your child like this? He's a little kid. I was young. I was a fool. <laughs> You're still a fool. It doesn't matter why she did it. We don't ask that about any other suicide that comes through these doors. We don't ask it about this one. Doesn't look hopeful. But I think for the morale of the unit, we gotta do everything. Previously on ER. Good doctor, eh? He's the best. You don't mind if I stick around and observe, do you, doctor? You want me turning away homicidal psychotics because your patient's got one of my beds? What the hell do you think you're doing? <laughs> You do not admit a patient to my service without a consult. Yeah, not everybody's gonna be as, as understanding as I was. Oh, yeah. You know, you should talk to Doug about Hathaway. It's been two months. It's not your fault, Doug. You gotta forgive yourself sooner or later. Why is he acting like this? They were together two years. He feels guilty about her suicide attempt. I just came by to see you. Say hi. Previously on ER. I pass. The bar? Yes! <laughs> You're never gonna leave, are you? I meet you, Mark. I met you my first day. Oh, my last. Or so I thought. How are you holding up? Okay. Just hoping to slip back into work, not have everyone make such a big deal about it. Doug, you know John Paglieri. Good job, Doug. How's pediatrics? You really want to be with Paglieri. He was there for me before this happened. When it happened. Hey, nobody likes being replaced. And I did it first. Although for the light of me, I can't remember why. I was thinking that maybe you and I could see each other again. He thought what we had didn't work, remember? Previously on ER. What's the occasion? John Taglieri and I are getting married. Hi, kids. I'm Dr. Hicks. Give me the bullet. Out in seven. Oh, God, I know. We're in the neighborhood. Let's move. <laughs> Don't do no Indiana Jones on me, please. Bob? If I not operate, the man die. You operated on somebody? You know whose patient this is? No, but I can name that, too. Find her family. She probably just wandered off. You just always hate everything that I do. That is not true, and you know it. I'm worried about you. Well, I, I've been, um, I've been pretty depressed. Previously on ER. <laughs> Jackie and I are the doctors. I th think you need more care than we can give you. This is it. Yours. Mine? Doug. You can't go through him to get to me. Is that what you think I'm doing? That's what he hopes you're doing. Pulse Ox is 65. CBC Chem 7. We're the parents. I'm quitting. You can't quit. Sure I can. Chloe. I'm scared, Chloe. Previously on ER. My little league team. We need an assistant coach. Well, give me a schedule. I should be able to make most of them. Clear? Clear. 300. I don't feel so great. I'm kind of scared. Don't worry, it'll be OK. I'll help her out, but she's not going to run my life. I need a good recommendation from Benton if I'm going to get the surgical sub-internship. You decide about next year? Uh, I'm waiting on that surgical sub -I. What about the ER sub -I? Mark would recommend you. I wouldn't be getting through this thing if it wasn't for you. Previously on ER. Before you got married, didn't you wonder if this was the one person you were meant to spend the rest of your life with? You don't seem too happy lately. Why are you applying for an ER sub-internship? You got a clear angle? Yeah. She's never going to get any better, is she? There won't be much improvement. She's married, man. Are you your sister's keeper? I didn't exactly volunteer. You're throwing me out? God! My own sister. Previously on ER. You did it. <laughs> we did it, Susie. It's only a wedding. So what if the caterers just canceled and the bridesmaids' dresses are late, the relatives are early? While you've done some excellent work, another applicant was more qualified. Give me another chance. No. Dr. Benton, your mother arrested at 5.15 this afternoon. We used all our capabilities, but her heart was too weak and she died. I'm sorry. Previously on ER. So the surgical sub is left open. You left us hanging. You want it or not? In the ER? Yeah, look, I'm in a hurry. Yes or no? I got it! Carter. Yeah, yeah, I want it. I want it. I definitely okay, want okay, it. Okay, okay, Carter. You're going to make a good doctor. Thanks. Not strong enough, Susan. Chloe, you're doing great. I've decided to take a chance, sign off on you as attending for next year. 
Did you get my messages? Yeah, I'm sorry. I've, I've been working a lot. And you really shouldn't call me at home. Previously on ER. You're an attending now. You got a problem with another department, you solve it. Well, I'm uh, Carrie Weaver. I heard you hired Carrie Weaver as chief. That's definitely moving in the right direction. How was school today? Uh, they're teaching us how to use the word and the, the spreadsheet. Whoa, I got a puffer. He's going to need an airway. Hey, scissors, stop scissors, moving around. Scissors, anybody scissors. It's Hathaway, right? Yeah. This is Shep, Raul. Why don't you start? You know I can't. Previously on ER. It's my case, Carrie. I'm calling it. Time of death, 719. Oh, Mark, she is irritating as hell, and you know it. Well, I'll admit that she has a style. Problem? Challenge. School's too hard. It made me feel so stupid. <laughs> he set the curtains on fire because you left him alone. When his fellowship comes up for renewal in November, I'm not going to sign off on it. We talked about all this before. You got to tell him. Previously on ER. Hulda, that's Mark. Mark, that's Hulda. Hello. Hello. Peter, I'm not ready to walk out of my marriage. Hi, I'm Randy. And the new clerk. Get her off my back. Her? Weaver. She's really quite confident, but her attitude is openly hostile. It's probably a communication thing. Oh! oh. Whoops. I'm gonna get bent. No, he's my patient. We should go out. Really? Definitely. Chloe, you are not abandoning this baby. I'll be back. I'm dying inside, Susie. Previously on ER. I am behind Carrie 100%. If you disagree with anything she's doing, assume that she's acting with my approval. Should we wait till someone dies and then you'll be responsible? <laughs> Looks like a dislocation, the interphalangeal joint. You may have a gun, you guys! This one, I found he has ants. I gave it to him. I was thinking of adopting Susie. Oh, okay. You, you're not a mother, are you? No. I'm not. Previously on ER. Carter, mm -hmm. you and Harper, something extracurricular happening there? Mm. I thought we were practicing medicine. You know, I'd say something, if it was your kid, if it was your kid, you would bet on a miracle. He tried to warn you. About what? Messing with a married woman. He stopped moving. He surrendered. I'm keeping her. What do you do after a day like today? I tend to drink, but I'm not the best role model. Previously on ER. Morning. I've overlooked a lot of your behavior, Doug. Now a medical student? I slept with Doug Ross. If you were smart, you give her another chance. I'm a new physician assistant. I start my ER rotation today. Can we at least pretend to be civil, professional? Well, let this service notice you will not be renewed. You're out of here. He's a good doctor, but he's a loose cannon. I've been here a few years. It's the longest commitment I ever made to anything or anybody. Previously on ER. You should see the inside of this house. Whoa. I'm sorry, John. You know what? You don't owe me an explanation. We only went out a few times. Well, could you guys keep her three days a week? You will not be renewed. You're out of here. I know you two are friends. I'll supervise him. His fellowship runs through December. It gives him over a month to find another job. You want to join our family? Yes, I do. Hey, hey. Hey. It appears that a doctor has saved a little boy from drowning. Previously oh, on ER. You bought yourself a real money pit, Hathaway. What are you doing up there? I'm destroying your roof. Do you want to have dinner? Third year resident. Yes. I think you better push those limits if you want to remain invested in surgery. I can't keep covering nights for you. I did four in a row last week. Yeah, you're right. You've been great. I appreciate it. I'll figure something out. Phone for you. Who is it? Your father? I haven't heard that voice in 22 years. In a great few days. Kind of wish it was minute. Previously on ER. It was my fault, you know? It was my fault that she went sour. How many young mothers you killed, Doug? I really wasn't planning on hiring third year for my studies. Jen and Rachel, they're, they're at a hospital. I, I gotta catch a train. She's a terrible driver. But I was driving. You fell in love with them? I didn't mean to. Previously on ER. Jen is really pushing it. She's the one having an affair, and I'm supposed to give up my daughter at Christmas. Loretta, right? Mm -hmm. It's like she's doing the old P.I.D. shuffle. Oh, Dr. Helper. Well, you have a choice of a new surgical technique developed by one of the top vascular surgeons in the country, and he works here. Okay. All right, wait a watch sign. Obviously, she's high risk. Is she consented? She's being prepped right now. Maybe I'm not cut out for this. I guess it's your first Christmas alone, too, huh? 
previously on ER. 96 is going to be a hell of a year, huh? She had me served at work. Jennifer? My dad will take me home in a while. Why don't you stay and get straightened out? You know us something to be proud of. This is about you and me. Get over it. Don't you turn your back on me. Dead call. So what did you say? I told her, uh, get lost. I think it's time we made Dr. Benton an official member of the team, don't you think, Claire? Hmm? Mrs. Rubidoux is a sinking ship, and you've spent all day rearranging her deck chairs. Doctor, I'm not ready to let her go yet. Previously on ER. I have never seen such a chain of errors in judgment. I, mean, I did what you said. In a case where the injuries are inflammatory, like leaving a newborn motherless. Mr. O'Brien. He's Carl's newly anointed. To the heir apparent. It's been the best and hardest work I've ever done. Good. That's music to my ears. You're a candidate for chief resident next year. But it's just that now it's not a very good time. Man, there's never a good time. The truth is, Mommy and Daddy aren't going to live together anymore. Previously on ER. Hey, Dr. Ross. Phone for you. Who is it? Your father? Who? You said it was your dad. Yeah, this isn't a good time. You used to let you know who I was? Didn't you tell him about me? That I found it? I meant to. The patient is being excluded. Oh, yes. It seems that he has a history of... Excuse me, neurological problems. If Yislich wouldn't drop bad outcomes just to pretty up his numbers, would he? I don't know. You lied to me. What do you want from me? The truth! She's dying, Ruby! Don't you want to hear? Previously on ER. <sighs> Happy birthday, son. We got a card, man. I, uh, I got two tickets to the Bulls game. When you first got here, we were a little concerned about you. You seem to care too much. What happened to you, Carter? How do you think money comes into this place? It takes results, and that, at any cost, is what I produce. Now you screw with that, and you will be off surgical service for a hell of a lot longer than one day. I'm stupid enough to ruin my career, but I don't even have the courage to do it the right way. Previously on ER. I just want to thank you for setting the bar high for everything. Don't you think I've got that guy about to be divorced look all over me? <laughs> He's cute. Well? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're not as tight. You're not my father. The father's someone who was there, and you never were. Okay, rematch. Two out of three. All right, what do you want to play for? Tickets to the Bulls game. One for each of us, all right? You're on. Previously on ER. I'm not going to have a fair shot at this internship. I'll tell him unless he rewrites my letter of recommendation. You're a most impressive candidate, but we have many impressive candidates. Going up against a guy like Fuselich. You don't think I should pursue it? If you do and you're wrong, your career's over. When you first got here, we were a little concerned about you. You seem to care too much. What happened to you, Carter? Your friend is lying up there waiting for you. And if you don't go, you're going to regret this for the rest of your life. Is Dr. Lewis around? I'm her sister, Chloe. Previously on ER. Is alcohol on your friend? Shh, champagne. It's grounds for expulsion. It's none of your business. We made a decision. That's final. No way! No way! No way. She is my baby, Susan, and I want her back. I'm adopting her. The family had a right to know. You're right, Peter. The family had a right to know. Look, you made a mistake. Why don't you just Why own you up get to out? Why don't you oh, just settle, get out? Down. Peter, Doug can handle this. Go on. Go on. Previously on ER. Yeah, but you can't change the fact that he misdiagnosed the kid. I'll talk to Doug. See your cameraman? Woman? director and producer of infomercials. The whole study's a sham. Are you prepared to back that up? I'm adopting her. She is my baby, Susan. They have a right to know. It's none of your business. We made a decision. That's final. Good news. I spoke to the oncologist. He can take care of Brad. You missed it and didn't have the decency to tell us. This is about your guilty conscience. You didn't have the guts to speak up about mucilage, so you blow the whistle on Doug. Previously on ER. Your biopsy last time was positive for cervical cancer. $25,000 in a kid. How's it get from the old man? 10 to 1, it's dirty. What are you doing here? I have no idea. Stop me! Dumping me? Yeah, and I gotta tell you, I feel pretty good about it. Chloe's the mother, and as far as I can see, she presents no danger to her child. Do you really think you can be a good mother to this little girl? Yes. More than anything, that's what I want to be. Previously on ER. Brother? Right I, I got you, I got you, I got you. You haven't by any chance heard from your dad today, Abby. I feel like I just plucked the virtue of a virgin. Oh, so glad you did. Stay off! He fell right over backwards onto it. Well, he really didn't fall, did he? He put in a freaking incident report against me. I think you did a wonderful thing. You mean taking care of Susie? I didn't have a choice. You have children? No, I don't. Hey!
previously on ER. Great news, huh, baby? They dropped the whole thing. <laughs> he doesn't belong out there. He's dangerous. You finally getting back at daddy, stealing his girlfriend? Is she on a list for a liver transplant? Yes, yeah, stands three. All right, move up to status two. It's the kids. <laughs> they never know what's going on from one day to the next. I didn't know you were here. Yeah, I'm just, uh, just getting a little checkup. And is it AIDS? Yeah, pneumocystis pneumonia. Previously on ER. The doctor said I may have been HIV positive for as, as long as 10 years. And you turned down, Chief? Yes, I did. Al's got AIDS. You and I were careful, but not that careful. Previously on ER. Carter, your first day? I'm gonna call for a surgeon. Don't you want to talk to someone before sex? Not really. I, uh, I tested positive. What was in the trip? I've got to squeeze a couple of hundred million out of the budget, so they're shutting us down. That's just a rumor. Benton dumped me back in the ER. Don't tell anyone you're HIV positive. Did you get your test back? It was negative. No, I don't know. Somebody call a doctor. You are the doctor. Previously yeah. on ER. We possessed. What? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, come on! You know my schedule. It's hard enough for just me to... Just once, it would be nice if you could call the day before. All that we're going to see is my neck. Donald Anspach has become county's new chief of staff. The guy's completely lumpy. Well, I'd rather like him. <laughs> just sit there okay. and look. You can't smoke around this oxygen tank either, okay? Even at home. Okay, it's coming up. Right, just... Okay. <laughs> So if you tested positive, you would have quit? In a minute. There. Previously on ER. Maggie, I'd like you to meet Carol Hathaway. She's our head nurse. She also heads the welcoming committee. So, you're interested in pediatric surgery? Yes, I am, very mm -hmm. much. There was a fire. The whole building? Yes. My floor, too? Yes. It must be tough to be sick and alone. There you are, a doctor. I'm a nurse, actually. A nurse? Guys who were interested in having sex with you weren't necessarily interested in you. Any chance that we might get into the OR today? Previously on ER. So tell me, how much longer are we going to put up with this? With what? Ben. You went to Malcolm X? Hey, they got a very prestigious pre-med night school. Pre-med? You're Benton, aren't you? Abby Keaton. Why don't you come with me? Yeah, right. I was wondering if, uh, I don't know, maybe you wanted to go out dancing sometime, you know, grab a bite. I can't. You've got great hands. Now you've got to show some heart. Previously on ER. I like kids. Fear of flying cannot be conquered. My mom got her real estate license at 40. I helped her with her homework. I can help you with yours if you want. You're probably too tired after your trip to dance. Well, kind of, I think. Maybe later. Look, do you know what you're doing or not? Yeah, I'm just confirming. Well, if you have to keep confirming, you don't know what you're doing. Carter, get in here. I work just as hard as everyone else to get in here. Yeah, well, you have to work twice as hard, stay twice as late to be twice as good. Previously on ER. What's your name? Gail. She said her open. Is she all right? Botox is falling. You need to get this baby off the table. Grab her faster, damn it. I'm getting heat. No. Go. Go. I don't want you anywhere near my patients. I don't need your sanctimonious approval of my life. You arrogantly and blindly think you have all the answers. If that baby dies, it'll be my responsibility. But it'll be your fault. Previously on ER. Can I get a couple of condoms? How old are you? 18. Starting tomorrow, the hospital's floating me to neuro three times a week. It's a miracle. Abby. Look, just do us all a favor. Ask her out. Susan, you want to go out tonight? Um, I can't. I have something planned. I waited too long. Huh? That's my chance. Blow it. I'm leaving my residency. Quitting? Transferring. Where? Phoenix. Previously on ER. Did you Okay, the thing is so that we both understand this is strictly personal. Ben hates my guts. No, I think he likes you. He just has difficulty showing it. Divorce papers. I'm giving you the house, the car, everything. Do you have it? Uh, yes. Tell me if you need me. You better take it. Ma'am, we're leaving. I'll never forget you. Previously on ER. Um, uh, Charlie, right? Yeah, you gave me some condoms. I have reason to believe that we may have a worker that's HIV positive. Say no more, Dr. Keaton. I, I just feel that if I get more experience, I'll be better prepared for the future. That's not how you should be looking at it. Uh, 
best thing you can do for me is to leave me alone. Well, I'm sorry, I gotta work late. Well, there's late and there's later. Hating me might feel good, but it won't change anything. It doesn't feel good, Al. Nothing about this feels good. Previously on ER. No, she said she had to stay in Baton Rouge work. Oh, damn. I thought you guys were gonna work it out. I thought I could crash with you. You're 14 years old. You stole my wallet. You've been nothing but a pain in the ass. Some folks are getting a little too fond of the manager part of nurse manager. I am not management. I know you're trying to help, but you didn't. You made it worse. You're a very good surgeon, uh, Peter, but I can't give up a space that could possibly be filled by a future pediatric surgeon. Previously on ER. <laughs> Get the guardy, Connie! She has bruising around her groin. She may have been raped. I'd be lucky to find someone like you. You neglected your duties. You feel that way, then you come speak to me. You feel Dr. Benton's reaction was inappropriate? I'm not sure I call it inappropriate. Administration's making me fire two nurses. Really? I didn't think you'd really go to Anspar. Like, I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Man versus moving ill train. Suicide? Death? Scan. Oh, sweet Jesus. Carter, put the tube in. Oh, God. Previously on ER. Either he lost his balance and fell under the tracks, or he jumped. All he ever got from you was harping and criticism. And now he's dead, and you're going to have to face it. That was a bit tough on you, your son. No one was actually stupid enough to admit to an organized sick out? Nope. You are spoiling me, you know that? Yeah, yeah. I'm HIV positive. I gave type A blood to a type O patient. I killed him. Previously on ER. I killed a man, and nobody around here seems to give a damn. What's up? Are you pregnant? Would you like to go out sometime? Mark Green. Heather Morgan. It's your job to assist me. That's why it's called physician assistant. Are you always this arrogant, or is it just me? I've been suspended. You know, a month ago, you would have ripped my lungs out for going behind your back to another surgeon. Now you don't care about yourself. You don't care about your reputation. Previously on ER. Oh, my God, I gave him the wrong blood. Maybe we should go out again sometime. I don't think it's a good idea. We may be able to forego an investigation. I don't want any special favors here. We're going to have to innovate him. He doesn't want to be put on a machine. He's going to die if we don't tube him. I should probably just go to the Sun Times myself. Tell them the death had nothing to do with the sick out. Then what happens? Lose my job, maybe. I'm going to take very good care of you. Mm. Whenever you have an urge to date three women at once, snap it. Previously on ER. Any idea when you're coming back? No. The hearing's in a couple of weeks, though. Our very own nurse Hathaway's doing quite beautifully on her own. How did you end up going out with two women on the same night? Scheduling mix-up. I thought we were having drinks. Was that drinks before or after the basketball game? I just to get your appendix. What? I'm afraid. Of what? Of liking you too much. We're gonna have to innovate him. He doesn't want to be put on a machine. Innovate him. Previously on ER. This baby's gonna be fine. Plenty to eat, nice clothes. You go back to worrying about yourself because that's what you do best. If Peter can't use your talents, my team can. So why'd you go ahead and take it? The MCATs? Mm -hmm. For me? Just wanted to see if I was good enough. Daddy! Hey, sweetheart. You're a young doctor, learning, making mistakes, saving lives. It takes a lifetime. Previously on ER. I told you that I was pregnant weeks ago, okay? The nothing. Perform an embolectomy? Damn right. You're the only one around here today who seems to know what the hell they're doing. I think we should start sleeping together. Why didn't you ever tell me I could be a lawyer or a pilot or a damn astronaut? You wanted to be an astronaut? Why didn't she stay with me? How are you gonna do that in work? I can handle it. Previously on ER. ER's a cakewalk compared to surgery. <laughs> you and your husband must be very excited. It's just me and the baby. I love having Rachel around. We haven't quite got the routines down yet, but, you know, she seems happy. Can't wait till Mommy gets back. What makes you think your judgment is superior to mine? I don't. Why did you order a glucose tolerance test? Every day I think of another test question, and when I go to look it up, I find out I got it wrong. I want to support you through this, Carl. I, I want to be a father to my kid. Previously on ER. Gee, this is Dr. Fisher from Infectious Disease. Hi. You still want to go to the lake? We're going to need to leave soon. I don't think so. You don't know a damn thing! So won't you back off and stay out of my face? The truth is, I'm really, really good at my job. So why do I want to change that? You never wanted this baby. 
What are you talking about? I didn't say that. Just go home, because I don't need you here doing me no damn favors. Hi. Hi. Can I come in? Previously on hey, ER. Rejoice, lost man. Chaos is your destiny. I'm gonna scare this baby's not gonna wanna come out. Carter, two of the best transplant surgeons in the country let us look over their shoulders, and then you just get up and leave. Is that a problem? Okay, I'll stay on the couch. Me too. Looking for a head doctor? Which one? Bald white guy, blue glasses. Ray, just walk away! <laughs> <laughs> Previously on ER. Please tell me what's going on. What Why happened? Oh my back. God, Mark. Where do I find a C-call? I'll get it. The crush door opener. Go ahead, try. You carry a gun. Under the front seat of my car. So, Doug, what, what is all this about? This little dance you did today. If I could find a way to do what my patient wants, that's medically acceptable, then I think that's what I should do. And I don't believe I should cut somebody open just because I can. Previously on ER. Son of a bitch! I can be a competent surgeon. I can learn the techniques, the mechanics. But I'll never be a great surgeon. Mark, I'm not gonna write you that prescription for the Percodan. I think you gotta get some help. I'm fine. Your baby was deprived of oxygen in the womb, so there's always the possibility that there could be brain damage. Back off! Hey, shut up! Move! Shut up! Shut up! Previously on ER. What's your son's name? Dr. Benton, he doesn't have one. You get a full arrest, you call an attending. You don't play the hero, you get help. Let's have a beer. Okay. Dr. Benton. Yeah. Elizabeth Corday, visiting surgical lecturer and your savior. You take Dr. Delamico back, I'm intimidated enough already. Anna, please. All right, Anna. If Dr. Mintz calls, let him know I'm on my way out. Okie dokie. Good night. I have nothing to say, okay? I agreed to have you follow me on the job. We can do that, but no more interviews. Previously on ER. Dr. Green, excuse me. But I've actually done quite a few more ER procedures than she has. I used to sell vitamins over the phone. That, that's kind of in the health field, isn't it? You know, he just wants your boy to have his daddy's last name. So what's wrong with that? <laughs> How's your busy social calendar? It's not as busy. This is Elizabeth Corday, new surgical resident. Oh. It's a pleasure. How do you do? Maybe it would be best if I stepped in and took over some of the administrative duties while you're recuperating. Bless you, Carrie Weaver. You got the job. What? Previously on ER. I'm confident. You'll make things work. Thank you for your trust. My teacher told me I had talent, but he was just trying to get into my pants. Did you trust me? This time? Uh -huh. <laughs> Deep, penetrating, poorly visualized cavities. I think that should be off limits. We don't usually refer to our senior surgeons that way. Oh, so I should stop speaking my mind. I don't think the taxpayers are interested in buying doors or talk screens. You out there working with us and you got AIDS? I gotta get by like everybody else. Previously on ER. This is Carla. Carla, this is Dr. Corday. Doug has difficulty dealing with strong women. I don't know about that. We oh, work Dr. as a Ross? team here. Oh, come right on. What team? Every contractor in Chicago will hear that I have AIDS. Do you mind walking me up to the platform? I just get kind of scared out here at night. What's the story? Motorcycle accident, left upper part of contusion. It's okay, I can handle it. But if my mother gets another beer from this hospital, Maybe I'm gonna kick some ass. Maybe I'll start with yours. Previously on ER. Wrong bite? No, no, I'll just watch you eat it. Where's that going? What do you mean? You and the desk clerk. Do you think your grandmother would consider this clinic idea? She'd probably look at it. After I pay my landlord, the med school bills, my phone bill, the gas bill, she'd leave me that four bucks. Oh, yeah, me too. And you've not worked with Dr. Romano, have you? Rocket Romano? A rocket sponsoring my BTA. Ow! Damn you, people! Oh, shut up! Oh, oh, get away! That's enough! Believe me, it won't get any better. You belong in jail. I wish it was, we would kick your white right ass. Previously on ER. Uh, my dad died. What? W what happened? Uh, it was a car wreck or something. They weren't real clear on the details. Um, but I gotta go claim the body and, and stuff like that, so. Sorry. Yeah. Previously on ER. Are you firing me? Jenny, I'm sorry. Oh, jeez. Your clinic proposal, that's tonight, isn't it? Yeah, Oak Park, 7 o'clock. I thought that's what we said. Your husband lied to you about his condition. He's going to die. Peter Benton, Rocket Romano. Dr. Benton? Hey, Liz, he's talked about you. I don't usually do this kind of thing. Sure, that's what they all say. My family has a few bucks and everything changes. A few bucks? Is that what this is to you? Previously on no one's ER. No ever gotten me a real diamond before, Mark. How dare you accuse me of trying to manipulate you? I deserve better than that. Here's the deal. 
Let me shatter you. Throw in a couple of procedures, a couple of stitches here and there, and I'll make your little lawsuit vanish. It's Carol. What? Carol Hathaway. Now, you are sworn to secrecy. I didn't mean to mislead you about my family. It's really not that big a deal. You told me we had to cut PAs. Jeannie, why don't you give Carrie and me another day or two to recheck our figures? I love you, Carol. Previously on ER. How's a week in St. Barthes, sir? St. Barthes? In the Caribbean? I defend you in the civil rights suit against you. In exchange, I play doctor for a day. You know, and I know this was not about your HIV status, do I? Anna, this is my cousin Chase. Hi. This is Anna Delamico. We're interns together. She's a young woman. She deserves a chance to keep her leg. Not a hot one, eh, Lizzie? Couldn't ask for a better candidate for a free fib transfer. She's cropping. Get on it, Corday! Sternal saw, sternal saw! Previously on ER. Good morning. Good morning. You were involved in a very serious automobile accident 10 days ago. Do you understand? Uh, I think it would be great if she were to marry me. Hey! Oh, oh God. What? Then I have to defend my wasted life in medicine. Do you have a son? Yeah. When the SPG attending start backing you up next week, it'll make your job a lot easier. You are preaching to the choir, okay? Less work is fine with me. If you're reinstated, you'll let the matter drop? Yes. Previously on oh, ER. Ma'am, we're gonna take care of you. Oh, God. What? Are you questioning my commitment to this patient's best interests? I got it under control. Yeah, so does every street junkie that I see that comes through this place. Greg Powell, I'm the paramedic who brought in the boy who got stuck in the chimney. If you don't let me draw some blood the easy way, they'll get every nurse in here to hold you down and they'll draw out the hard way. He simply wants to keep an eye on me. Don't you, Dr. Benton? Previously on ER. Whoa. Huh. Uh, I'd invite you back to my place, but um, I fear I'd be taking advantage. I'm going to help you. Help me. I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you, Chase, but you got to stick with me. But delaying the vote at this late date just isn't an option. I can't support something I don't believe in. When I was talking to Greg Powell, it got intense, and um, and I kissed him. Previously on ER. They got you on oxygen? I need help living my life, Mark. You'll be the first person I call. I mean, he did every crappy assignment that the Navy wanted him to do. It didn't matter. He never got the nod. That's you want to talk know. about this later? No, I, no. I, I didn't mean to make you feel uncomfortable. I was just... You didn't make me feel uncomfortable. Okay. Your father loves you very much, Mark. He may not show it in the way that you want him to, but he does. Previously on ER. Carter, you come here every day. Sometimes you're really cooking and sometimes you're not. All right, let's auto transfuse him. What? You're kidding. He needs blood, Carter. And he's going to get it. Dad, I told you I was going to rent a car. Your mother appreciates your coming. Oh, there you are. Oh, I was so glad. Jerry. What? Answer the damn phone. Did you withhold treatment from that kid? It was my decision. It was good that you stayed focused on a patient. Thanks. Take as much time as you need. I'll wait. Previously on ER. John, what are you doing here? You're asking me to help. I'm here to help. Oh, because you don't want your mom and dad to find out that you've been shooting heroin. I'm, I'm not. You need to find research grant to cover your salary before the end of the year or look toward private practice. I'm going to talk to her. I know that I make him happy. I know I do. I can tell, but he just keeps giving me these mixed signals. I'm like a magnet for needy people. Like they find me wherever I go. Like I did? Said that you really don't need to leave. Yeah, I really do. Previously on ER. Oh, help me, you just choose not to. Thank you. Next month, my hair will grow back. And you'll still be sorry. Well, just for that, I get to pick the movie. How long's it been since you've had something really juicy, Peter? From this point on, a pediatrician is consulted in all peds cases. Carla wants to put Reese into daycare. Chemo aid and vascular procedures, have you heard of it? It's the artificial blood. Thought you might like in on it. You don't mind if I step in and take over a little bit? Praise Allah, no. Six ODs, three in respiratory arrest. What is it? It's Chase. He has probable brain damage. Previously on ER. Uh, thank you, thank you. So it's true? I've been trying to tell you I'm not renewing my fellowship because I'm applying for an attending position. You should have had some sense. Called your family. It was not your decision, John. I'm sorry. And here are some condoms. Use them. I will. The uh, bone marrow registry and eight people who preliminarily match a marrow type. David. I've got something in my eye. Could you? Who the hell was that? Previously on ER. Well, Gamma, if that is all you think of me, then you can keep your money. As you wish, John. Cancer's back. Your bone marrow failed to match the last two potential donors. I don't want any more chemo. 
gather all the charts and the tape. The tape? We frequently tape laparoscopic procedures. Don't pull so hard with the Babcock. You'll tear the gastric artery. I'm not pulling. Oh, son of a bitch. He's lost too much blood. We've got to open. We're losing him. Dr. Morgenstern, it's been three minutes. He's dying. Move. Previously on ER. You do not need a pediatric attending yeah. here. Don't worry. It's not going to happen. I think I have what it takes to be an attending. Of course you do. You've been a great friend. But? But there's this other guy. Oh, yeah. Both adults. We enjoy each other. Why not? None of you wants the family involved in your lives. He's not going to break my heart. Men like him don't change. Let's start an effing effing drip. Why don't we also give her a heart transplant while we're at it? Peter. Previously on ER. It was really lovely last night. I would really like you to consider um, a date. Seeing as I, I do work for you, I don't think it would be such a good idea. Oh, I see. You 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 have a policy. Yeah, yes. No I fraternization do, do. Uh, with people at work. Oh, well, okay. It's okay. He's in heroin withdrawal. The mother's been stealing his methadone between fixes. So she split. Previously on ER. Yep. Oh, hi, Lizzie. I think it's about time you and I had a little sit down. Is that a problem? Am I hearing jealousy? It's just that I think that you're trouble. What about his heroin addiction? Uh, it wasn't heroin. It was painkillers, Percocet. I'm going to do an ultra-rapid detox, and I'm going to end his addiction today. You're going to keep him hidden here for 12 hours. I found Doug in exam four detoxing his baby. What? You're going to explain this to the hospital administration and the executive committee. You lied to me, Doug. You looked me right in the face and lied to me. Previously on ER. Ms. Knight, welcome to County General. You do know how to do this, right? Yes. You've broken every rule and regulation we have in the ER. But it seems in the best interests of the child to complete what's been started. I wanted to ask you, Dr. Ansbar, about the possibility of sponsoring for next year. You don't want to continue with Dr. Romano? Dr. Romano doesn't wish to continue with me. I haven't been getting much sleep since I took that RA job. I had to take the day off so I could run the clinic. I don't suppose you could spare anyone to help me out. There's a position opening. District Medical Director for EMS. We could use someone like you on our side. Previously on ER. Thanks for covering for me. If you don't know something, ask. Hold on, are you telling me that the EMS Medical Director is a real person? He's an ER doctor. <laughs> I thought it was just a name they stuck on the top of memos. Not when I do it. You're a pediatric emergency fellow, right? Yep, one run under the boss. You're not thinking of starting all over again. It's a means to what I really want to do, which is to stay here. I am an ER doc just like you. It's not like me, Doug. You acted without the consent of your colleagues. Reese can't hear talking or the telephone. It's a severe to profound loss. Previously on ER. There are four candidates, including me. Actually, you make it five. This hearing aid is expensive, and I just found out that my insurance won't cover. I said that we share everything in a minute, everything, okay? I practice my IVs on a mannequin. That's good, but no one to ask for help. I want you to toast the new Peds ER attending me. I have heard of foreign doctors who were willing to start over as interns. They amputate. Is it certain I'll live? Previously on ER. That was a great save. Actually, I meant uh, being your full-time PA. Great. Great. I'd love that. This is more of a formality than anything else. Maybe for you, but you're the only intern I have. I admire your fortitude. I couldn't handle taking orders from a weasel like Dale. Your presentation was everything we expected. This is ridiculous, Lucy. Everyone thinks you can. I know. I'm going to talk to Dr. Carter. I haven't started an IV. I don't know how. I never have. If you ever lie to me again, you can look for another rotation. Previously on ER. Dr. Carter, hi. Normally I would, but as of today, I'm only an intern. Yeah, I heard about that. I couldn't believe it. Carrie, this is Dr. Dan Litvak. Just here to get a few tips. No, I just had my second interview for the chief position. Peter, have you not told everyone? My son is deaf. I know that, okay? Aren't you supposed to be setting policy? <laughs> I'm here for the ride along. <clears throat> a few vomits. I guess down in his lungs, he could die of aspiration pneumonia. What happened was two of your classmates almost died tonight. It was stupid of me to think that you were mature enough to take responsibility. Previously on ER. Someone's down! We have to wait for the area to be secure. We should not be out here! I thought you were supposed to smooth things out between the ER and paramedics. You're my new intern. I just gave you an order. Peter, I wasn't aware that Reese had a hearing problem. What I do with my son is my business. And I'm not interested in continuing as interim chief. You're stuck. I wouldn't have asked so many questions if you had told me what you were doing. Well, I'm sorry that you thought it was your business to ask me. Carter, what are you doing here? Previously on ER. Medical students don't know anything. It's your job to teach them, not be their friend. Do you have something personal against this girl? Do you think I should sit down and talk to Dr. Carter? You don't want to be confrontational from the get-go. You're getting defensive. You don't even hear me. Don't talk to each other. Talk to me. One good thing about Lucy. 
She's not here. Whatever this is, I can't fix it. Work it out, both of you. Previously on <laughs> ER. I think it's dislocated my shoulder. How do you think you can improve our department? Well, right away, you could benefit from an eight-bed observation unit. If she's half as impressive in the room, she just might be our next chief. Dr. Corday, you gave me 50%. Oh, my God, you're right. I've given him a lethal dose. He's rating down. Hurry, 30. Number The cochlear implant is nothing short of a miracle. You bring in your, your son, and uh, we'll see if he's a candidate. Hey, Elizabeth, don't feel the need to solicit medical advice on my behalf, all right? I've worked with Kotler Vitz before. That's the only reason I brought it up. If you'd rather I had Yeah, I'd rather you had Previously on ER. Would it be better off as friends. Mark, thanks again for dinner last night. God forbid you should listen to me and learn something. Yes, I was engaged once. To a really lovely man. And he was killed in a freak horseback riding accident. You know, you bring a child into this world and you think that they're helpless, but actually, I think it's us. I think we're the ones that are helpless. Previously on ER. Having a drink sounds great. Can we also eat something? What are you talking about? You went out with her, right? We had dinner. We should embrace our mistakes and learn from them to improve the system. I'm going to put the microphone holder right behind the ear. I wanted to postpone Reese's operation. <laughs> are you coughing up blood? <laughs> that woman has tuberculosis. It's highly contagious. There's something about me that just brings out the worst in people. Christmas, Previously on ER. You want to catch a movie tomorrow night? Okay. So you actually applied to the space program? What's second year residency? Tonight's dinner is semi-formal, so uh, any slinky black number will do. So you want me to conduct a study at County General? And the drug is for the treatment of fracture pain? Mm hmm Comparing it against acetaminophen with codeine. Joy, what's your son's medical condition? ALD, adrenal leukodystrophy. How old is he? Eight, why? They usually don't make it past the age of ten. This must be Ricky. I'm Carol. Previously on ER. I've been having a problem with Dr. Romano. Why didn't the genetics clinic suggest this medication? Well, it's brand new. It's still part of a clinical trial. Do I need to fill any of this out? Mm, I wouldn't bother. He's not a candidate for the study. You go. Breaking research protocol could damage the hospital's funding. So you uh, you agree with him? No, I, I see their point. Doug, don't walk away. Doug. Previously on ER. I'd be remiss if I didn't offer up my services. The uh, burns seem to be well healed. You want to tell me how it happened? You put the patient first, and that's what we're supposed to do. Anytime you want to prescribe Schedule II narcotics, we want to co-sign the order. We should arrange for something called uh, PCA. Hook Ricky up to an IV that would deliver pain medication to him at home. I need you to sign off on the Dilaudid. Yeah, I can't sign off on that. He's not on our service. Previously on ER. I can't watch him suffer anymore. Help us, please. Mr. Abbott is accusing you of murdering his son. I gave the mother the entry code. I showed her how to change the dosage. You don't need anybody else. You are a country unto yourself. What the hell's wrong with you? You want to destroy your own career? It's fine, but you stay the hell away from mine. I got a school bus slipped over by a snowplow. A bunch of kids are trapped. Firemen need a doctor on the scene. I'm going with you. Dad! Previously on ER. These results don't have anything to do with the accident. All this time, I'm worrying about HIV and I get hepatitis C. Well, why don't you do what I did, apply to a locum tenens program. Filling in for vacationing surgeons in rural hospitals. They pay you a bundle to step in. Oh, yeah? What's a bundle? Uh, eight, ten grand for a couple of weeks. Can you say father? Can you say daddy? Yeah. Previously on well, ER. What happened? Her husband freaked out. Called 911 but wouldn't let us in. She was bleeding all over the place. All this time, I'm worrying about HIV and I get hepatitis C. My wife, is she dead? Uh, can you get Mark? Sure, I can do that. And security. I'm gonna resign. You want him to go? I love him like a brother. But I can't do this anymore. It's too hard. I can't rem remember a time when I didn't love him. You're not coming with me, are you? Previously on ER. You don't need me to tell you this, but it's, it's okay for you to miss him. Hell, I miss him. It's possible that uh, he may need surgery. Do you know what happened to Mobolaji? He was tortured in Nigeria, right? Turns out Mr. Cabo came into the country on a forged visa. He's an illegal. Send him back to Nigeria. The INS will start a deportation hearing. You're gonna need the dough if you accept the cardiothoracic fellowship next year. Making the decision to track down your birth parents is not something you should do lightly. You what? 
I'm pregnant. Previously on ER. No! Give it back to me! Give it to me! Call the no. Group therapy in your first week? God, all I did was observe the first two weeks of my psych rotation. I'm going to have a baby. I heard that there might be a surgical trauma fellowship run out of the ER. It was my idea. I brought it to Green and Weaver. I, I need time for Reese. Don't use him as an excuse to screw me over. I'll find something else. No, no, I don't want you to forfeit it to me. If, if you want it, by all means, you go for it. I'll still get it. Previously on ER. Well, that must be tough. What? Competing with your boyfriend. Not boyfriend, just competing. Any indecision you're feeling about your future, Dr. Benton, I can help. Just say the word and I will take the cardiothoracic fellowship off the table. By all means, feel free to apply for the trauma fellowship. You're a little closed off from my taste. Closed off? Emotionally withdrawn. Roxanne called twice. <clears throat> so. So? So what? So you uh, plan on going through the pregnancy? I was hoping to. What does Doug think? Previously on ER. Uh, it's a candlelit dinner would not be an enticing offer. You're offering me a cardiothoracic spot? Not officially until May, but between you and me. Hold on, hold on. I'm covering the ER, all right? Fine. I'm finished here. Peter's applied for the trauma fellowship? Yeah, haven't you heard? What do you think I'll do? He'll be on the first plane. Previously on ER. <laughs> be good, son. We typically only do amnio when you're over 35, unless you have genetic disorders in your family. No. No, Reggie. I'm seeing someone else. Dr. Carter, can I hang around and see how this goes? Absolutely. Thank you, but I'm taking the trauma fellowship, okay? Fine, whatever, Peter. I'd consider you for cardiothoracic. Well, that belonged to Peter. Ritalin is for hyperactive children. You're 24. And my doctor still prescribes it, so I'm not doing anything wrong. Previously on ER. And if he's positive? Then we need a foster family willing to take on a child of color with HIV. Not only is Dr. Anspach quitting, Dr. Romano is the front runner to take his place. You would support him as chief of staff. I think it's only fair that we give him all the support that we can. I was thinking maybe we'd go get a drink or something. This is to talk about your child's needs. He needs to be with his mother. And he needs to be with his father. But they're not sure if I'm a good doctor. I've just been appointed the new permanent chief of the emergency department. Will you marry me? Dr. B's mother has died. Previously on ER. What time are you off? Now. You should all offer Dr. Corday your congratulations, since most of you will be working with her in her new position as associate chief of surgery. What's all this about, Robert? No, thank you, I'm honored. No, I hope I don't disappoint. You still want to marry me? <laughs> yes. Okay. So she's um, looking at surgery? Has to have a mastectomy, I'm afraid. What about Reese, huh? You ever think about that? I mean, you want to take him away from his father? You may not even be his father. What? Previously on ER. Under no circumstances is that man to go into that operating room, call security if you have to, and enjoy your first solo surgery. I don't need you to feel sorry or tender or anything. I just need you to go away. Paula Trancoso, Chicago Gazette, Elizabeth Corday, my associate head of surgery. I want you to meet Gabe Lawrence. Nice. Gabe, this is Dr. Mark Green. Gabe is coming over from New Western as our new attending. As our new attending. Previously on ER. Seems like you're settling in well. Oh, yeah, everybody. Good. Terrific. You a resident? Yeah. Well, one thing you still need to learn is that every patient in here is somebody's boyfriend, girlfriend, father, mother, son. It went well. Within the next couple of weeks, we can begin reconstruction. Meg, are you smoking? I'm just really stressed. Lucy, I've been treating trauma patients for 30 years. I think I know what I ordered. We're going to let you take Carlos. <laughs> really? I think somebody had to give this guy a little That's talking That's not your to. job. The hell it isn't, man. You don't know the details. <laughs> yeah, I know enough. Previously on ER. You're taking drugs, which means your baby is taking drugs. Hardly using. You can't use at all. Would you tell Carrie that I might be a little late tomorrow? You don't like that I hired Gabe, but I did, so deal with it. These are unreliable. Half the time you wind up in the pre-peritoneal space. Well, I think if you try. I said no, damn it. Previously on ER. What is this? Why is she taking off her ankle wrap? You tricked me? How can I remember a William Blake poem I memorized over 30 years ago and not remember that I saw a woman with a sprained ankle this afternoon? No, I do work here, but only when they need me. I'm uh, what they call a moonlighter. I don't believe that we're going to be needing you anymore, okay? Pills, some weed. What's this sign? Crank. How could you do this to me? Could you do this to me? Previously on ER. you what? I'm pregnant. I wanted to have a baby with Doug. I, I don't want to be a single mother. There's another heartbeat. Twins? My flight was overbooked, so I volunteered to take a later one. 
Yeah, you don't have to worry about saving a couple hundred bucks. You know, I could buy you a ticket. I can afford my own ticket, Mark. You gonna breathe there? You know, my breathing's fine, but my ankles are about to explode. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, it's just, uh, there, active. May I? Previously on ER. Doing drugs, I know it. I told you a thousand times, I don't get high. There is a woman out there that could be dying. Do you understand that? This is your last chance. Tell me where she is, or I'll let you bleed to death. Mark? Thank you. Good, Bob. I pressured Mr. Rollins. Well, Lizzie, you never failed to impress me. I didn't think you had it in you to cross that line. Previously on ER. The police have found evidence linking you to another murder. Did you tell her you want to put me in a nursing home? It's a retirement community. A retirement community with nurses. If you don't have surgery, the flesh on your leg will begin to rot. You're scaring me, Doc. But being a doctor isn't about your personal feelings. But ultimately, it's the patient's choice. But we must offer to do everything we can to keep them alive. You do care about me. As your doctor, I do. No, as a woman. Previously on ER. Hi, I'm Jing Mei Chen. Dr. Chen, as a rule, we don't lie about our patients' medical conditions. I cannot thank you enough, Dr. Knight. I'm not a doctor yet. You are to me. Mr. Rollins, this is Lindsay Cordova. So how can I help you? I want to bury my sister. Where is she, Dean? How are you holding up? In all honesty, I'm exhausted. Maybe you should come live with me in Chicago. Chicago, huh? Previously on ER. Hi. I'm Abby. I'll be your OB nurse. I can't lie about a diagnosis. Sometimes we make what's called a judgment call. Oh, if the rules need to be bent a little bit, we bend them. You want to go grab some dinner? Peter, you ask me out? It's never been very easy for me to be here. That's something I know about. Previously on ER. Paul Sabricki? Yeah. Oh, 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 hold him. We bring him to me. Carter. But now we'll Paul Sabricki? He doesn't have a CNS infection. I think he might be schizophrenic. Previously on ER. Uh, morning, Elizabeth. I got it. I got it. Damn it. You sure you want to go in there? Oh, yeah. We're not going to be able to talk. Let's go get some coffee. Come on. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't want it to define me, Mark. I didn't want to see it in people's eyes. I didn't want to see it at all. I'm scared. Previously on ER. I don't want to be hooked up to a bunch of tubes puking my guts out. Mark, I have to respect his wishes. He's my father. Hey, I want to help him. Just be there for him. I don't think it's too serious, Mr. Bernier. Maybe just a little touch of the stomach flu. Why don't you pee in the cup? Give it to Malik. It's what he lives for. You need to get your son into a diabetes clinic. There's a new drug, glucophage, that works well for kids, but it is expensive. I'll have my new insurance in three months. I'll get Eddie on a diet and exercising. You let that kid walk out of here to accommodate the father's financial problems. You're endangering that boy's life. Bernier, kid. And curtain three can go home. Just a little case of the stomach flu. Kick him out of there. We need the bed. Previously on ER. What are you doing? I think the grease from the meat dripped under the coals and caught on fire. Yeah, that's what the water bottle's for. Didn't tell me that. And I'm not going to be doing my dying in your cramped, thin wall, second floor walk up. If anybody starts asking questions, don't expect me to lie for you. Is there anything else you want to tell me, Carter? I made a mistake. I'm sorry. Well, then you're suspended. Sign out your patience and go home. Robert, let's right not... Right Carrie, right now. Previously on Excuse ER... Me. I have Samantha Sobricki with me. She's looking for her husband. I got a message on my answering machine from Lucy Knight. When is Carrie coming back? Who says she is? Oh, oh Carter! Hey! What's the matter with you? He's violent. It was an accident. This is Pablo. They don't come any gentler. I am not an invalid. I can still make it to the damn bathroom sit down, sit down, by myself. Sit down, sit down. You don't give mommy and daddy any trouble, do you? Beautiful family. Previously on ER. I mean, a year ago, I was living with Doug. Now I'm living alone with two babies. John. Hmm? I wish you'd talk to somebody about your not sleeping. I'll be fine. Hello, David. How are you? Well, I'm still here, Elizabeth. Couldn't be too bad. This isn't right, Mark. 
just isn't right. I know, Dad. And nothing has gone as expected today. Previously on ER. What are you saying? I'm saying that there's more to emergency medicine than treating and treating patients. That's one more thing you don't have to teach me. I'm still in love with him. You'll find someone, Luca. You will. You're such a wonderful man. You'll find her. You will. I told you, I was allergic to sulfa. Uh, what happened? She must have pulled out her IV. Why would she pull out her IV? How the hell would I know that? 